south, and then they had the run game. All right, thank you for coming out. You're a classy guy, and we'll see you next season. Okay. All right, Casey, back to Brent. All right, Pat, thank you. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, at the age of 40, you're still collecting championships. Kareem, this one has to feel about as sweet as any of the others. Oh, it's a nice one. It's uh, We work real hard for it, and I think the most uh, significant part of it is that uh, at the beginning of the season, nobody picked us to even finish first in our division. And uh, here we are with the World Championship. I'm really proud of this team. Kareem, will you definitely be back next year and for two years? Are you committed to two years now? Well, I'll definitely be back next year. Uh, the Lakers are trying to talk to me about a, an additional year. I'm going to listen to what they have to say. I haven't made any commitment on that. All right, but we'll look forward to seeing you next year. Congratulations. Yeah, Cap! Yeah, the Cap! most valuable player for the third time. They have won four championships, and Magic Johnson, an MVP, unanimous choice. Congratulations. Thank you, SS. It was a t total team effort, really. You know, we all just uh, chipped in and just got the job done, and... It's just great to be a champ again. Does this one feel better than even the first one, Magic? Oh, yeah, it, it did. Because of the fact what we did during the regular season, we carried it on into the playoffs. So it, it, it's, it's definitely the sweetest one. I'd just like to say hello to my mom and dad back in Lansing, Michigan. All right, congratulations, Magic. We will continue from the Lakers locker room. It started as a walk in the park. Two games at home, two blowouts, and talk of a sweep. But it became a battle in the trenches. Basketball Boston style testimony to the pride and heart of a championship Celtics club. But it was also in Boston where the series turned in one magic moment. And finally, back on familiar ground, the Lakers went for it head first. The result? their second NBA title in three years, and their fourth championship in the 80s. Today, the city salutes the winners as KHA presents Championship 87, a victory celebration. And we are very pleased to help bring you that championship celebration. Good morning, everybody. I'm Roy Firestone from the steps of City Hall in downtown Los Angeles, and I am not alone. We're talking close to 100,000 people to be joining us, 100,000 to 200,000, depending upon who does the talking in terms of uh, crowd estimates. A lot of people out here today to show up for the Lakers victory celebration here in L.A., their fourth victory celebration, as we told you, in the 80s. And we're also not alone in terms of the manpower to help bring this parade through and the celebration along with us joining us at the bottom of the steps is a veteran of victory celebrations for the Lakers I think Jim Murphy James take it away Roy I'm right back where I was two years ago at the bottom of the steps but I'm surrounded by oh god as you said maybe a hundred thousand LA Laker fans and some of them lest there be any doubt who they're rooting for brought their own Lakers logo and all you got to do to get these people to cheer is hold the microphone at them. They are out to cheer today. They are out to celebrate this victory. And it's a beautiful day for a celebration. We've got clear skies, sunny smiles, and that's because every gray cloud in America is hovering over Boston right now. But right now, let's talk to some of these people. What time did you get here today? I, I got here at 6 o'clock. I would have been here at 5, but I got a ticket for riding in the diamond, and I don't know why. <laughs> I woke up at 4 this morning. Why aren't you at work today? I'm playing hooky. And, uh, no, he's not playing hooky. He's not playing hooky. He has an affliction that is hitting all of Los Angeles today. It is marked by a dry throat from all that cheering, by sore feet from standing here since 5 in the morning, and by a palpitating heart from what went on in Game 4 when Magic hit that shot heard around America. And they call it, they call it championship fever. I'm the doctor here, and I'm giving them all a note. I'm giving them all a note to... Stay away from work and enjoy the day. We'll be back with you in a little while. Now back to Roy at the top of the steps. Okay, Jim, thank you. A veritable leatherneck in action. And we're going to be talking to Jim throughout the, the celebration today and the parade. And we're also standing by uh, with Mark Trank, who is right now on the corner of First and Spring, where the parade is about to get underway. Mark, take it away. Well, Roy, that's, it's happening here. I mean, this is L.A.'s biggest street party right here on the streets of Los Angeles with this town's greatest fans, L.A. Laker fans. Hey, how about it? All right. Now, as you've said, parade is, the parade is going to get started. We're going to bring you it all, all the color and players back to you, Roy. Okay, Mark. 
as you might imagine, uh, it's it's a, a bit ma of a madhouse down there with uh, cameras and cables running through, and so occasionally you might see little glitches on the cameras, but uh, that's to be expected. We'll be checking back with Mark, and the parade is about to get underway. We'll see all the Laker players and coaches and the Laker wives taking part in the victory celebration. Celebration 87 continues from downtown L.A.